Hello readers, I'm Amy. I have filmed a, another video with this light. I don't know which, uh, which one I'm putting up first, but I got a ring light because my husband wants to treat me with things and be all sweet and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got a ring light. I'm trying it out. I'm liking it so far. I'm not one of those people who really cares if people have alien eyes or whatever. Like, I'm fine with it. But anyways, this video is not about my ring light. It's about this book. Okay. Tell the people what you're reading. The Shining. Show the people what you're reading. Come on. You can you can do half a face. Just don't be completely cut off. Scoot down. Don't just show them the end of the book. Scoot. And do the half face and that's that's a little bit there you go. Okay, you look really creepy. Now you can go. You look creepy. Hey, you look creepy. I love you. So that was Chris. He's decided to reread The Shining and be his weird self. Um, anyways, <laughs> here today to talk about Trumpet. So I recently hauled this book from Second Sale. If you want 10% off $10 or more of used books, the link and my discount code are down below. Um, I have... I keep seeing Trumpet pop up on lists of books about people who are intersex. And it's a topic I'm really interested in. I'm trying to get a good, like, collection of books that I can talk about in a video. I will do that eventually. But this was not actually an intersex book like I thought it would, it would be. I still loved it. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. So Trumpet by Jackie Kay. Jackie Kay is a black author. Um, she's done a couple of other books. I haven't heard of her other ones, but I've been looking for Trumpet for almost a decade now, which you would know if you watched my recent book haul. And this is about a trumpet player. What I didn't know, I looked this up on Google, and there's actually... was it Billy something? This book is based off of a real jazz player who was discovered to be female-bodied after his death. Um, I'm gonna try and tread carefully here with my discussion because there, there's a lot to talk about in this book. Um, I think this subject matter could be very triggering to people who are trans or non-binary or otherwise different from their sex that they were assigned at birth. But yeah, let's see if I can figure out where to start this conversation. So at first I was thinking this book was in an epistolary style, which means that it would be written in like diary entries and news articles and stuff. Um, but it wasn't quite like that. We are in different characters' heads throughout the book, but the chapters are labeled like the interview. Um, House and Home is usually the title of the chapters for the trumpet player's wife. So we're following the family of Joss Moody, who is a trumpet player who just died, as well as a journalist who is trying to track his life story. Um, it was not an easy read, though I did really, really enjoy it. I think the author did a great job of really capturing the different angles that people look at these topics from. So we have Joss Moody's wife, who is very upset and lonely after his death, and she's dealing with the realization that her son is hanging out with a journalist so that he can help write a book about Joss Moody's life. And the journalist is the part that's really hard to read because she constantly misgenders Joss Moody, calls him by his dead name. Um, we do learn the dead name out of respect and spoilers. I won't mention it here. Um, so if, if you're really easily triggered by that stuff or if you're sensitive to conversations about that, definitely be careful with this book or maybe don't read it because there is a lot of dead naming and misgendering. But I think that there's a point to how that's being used. Like I said, Trumpet is based on a real trumpet player who um, showed themselves as male throughout their life and then upon death and kind of whenever you have a coroner looking into that and you're getting the death certificate and stuff, they found that this person was born as a female sexed person. But throughout this book, some people are very respectful of that and some are not. It's actually most of the people 
are respectful of that, just not the people whose heads we spend the most time in. Um, the wife always uses he, his pronouns. His closest friends in like his jazz band and everything um, all say he, him. They don't really care what he was born as. It's not what's important to them. What's important to them is that one of their best friends just died and this great trumpet player just died and they're in mourning. And then you have this journalist being super disrespectful and dead naming him and misgendering him. And the son, the son doesn't do a lot of misgendering, but he's like very kind of lost and confused. He feels lied to because he didn't know that his father was born female until after the death certificate was signed. Um, so just basically a lot of really difficult conversations in this book. But again, I did really love it. I think the writing style was really great. It's definitely a slower story, but I like that the author really takes the time to show us these different viewpoints and tell this story. Um, Jackie Kay is an author of color and she's actually, I believe she's from Scotland. And when I was thinking about it, I don't think I've read about a book or read a book from Scotland before. So I can check that off my list of countries for the year because I am keeping track of that. Um, and after reading this book, I'm, I'm definitely interested in reading Jackie Kay's other books. I believe she has two other books. Um, yeah, so it, it seemed to be intersex in like all of the lists that I was finding on intersex books, I would say is actually about a trans person. Um, we do get, I think, one chapter from Joss Moody's perspective, but I hesitate to even call it a perspective. It's more just like this kind of chapter about him. It, it would appear to be him just playing his trumpet in the afterlife and just kind of enjoying himself and doing what he always loved. Um, so that was interesting. It's not usually the kind of thing that I like in books, but like it was, it was pretty well done in this. Um, not sure what else to say here. I just got back from work. I'm tired. I'm a little bit out of it at this point, but I think I got the important points taken care of. So this is just going to be a really short review to say Trumpet by Jackie Kay was awesome. If you're not super sensitive to stories that include misgendering and stuff, then I think it would be a really good one to read. So leave any comments or questions you have down below. Um, I'm certainly willing to talk about this book more in the comments. Please like, subscribe, be my friend on social media. I will see all of you in my next video. Bye friends.